Finding a high quality, cheap web hosting provider isn't easy. Every website will have different requirements from a host. Plus, you have to compare all the features of a hosting company all while looking for the best deal possible. Now this can be a lot to sort through. It can be a little bit stressful, especially if this is your first time purchasing hosting or building a website. So most hosts these days will offer super cheap introductory pricing only to raise those rates two or three times higher once your initial contract is up. Some hosts will provide free bonuses when you sign up, such as a free domain name or a free SSL certificate, while some hosts will be able to offer better performance and high levels of security. Now in this video, I'm not going to be doing an in-depth look into each web post. If you are interested in seeing more in-depth videos on these web posts, I probably have a video already, which I will link in the description down below. But for this video, I've narrowed it down to my two favorite web hosts that I consider to be cheap, but definitely worth using and explaining to you why I think so. So starting off here, we have Bluehost. Now Bluehost is one of the most popular web hosts in the entire world, and they currently host over 2 million websites. You'll see them frequently recommended by popular bloggers and website owners the world over, including myself right now. Granted, they are not the cheapest web hosts in the world, but in terms of what you get for your money, they are definitely one of the best, and to be honest, they are still pretty damn cheap. They do have industry leading uptime, so your site will virtually never be offline when you need it. You'll also find breakneck loading speeds as well, so your visitors will never be waiting for your site to load. And beyond the high levels of performance, you'll also get access to their support team, which is 24 seven, 365 days of the year. Okay, this is some of the best support that I've ever come across on any website ever. And that is one of the reasons why I really love Bluehost as a cheap option, just purely because of their support as the main reason. And if you're a beginner, I think you are going to absolutely love it. It's gonna be very, very helpful for you. So also included with the cheap shared hosting plan from Bluehost is a free domain name for your first year of service, along with one click installs for a variety of different website builders, tools, including the ever popular WordPress. Now this is literally just one click and you will have WordPress installed, which is another great reason why I always recommend Bluehost for beginners. One, because of the customer support and two, just before the ease of use. It is super, super easy and convenient to use. I often find myself coming back to Bluehost more often than other web hosts, just for those two reasons. For me personally, it is their top quality support that does it for me mostly, but their one click WordPress install as well and everything else, including the performance, just makes it a no brainer for anyone looking to get some WordPress hosting. All right, and next up here is HostGator. Now, HostGator is one of the most well-known and popular hosting brands across the world today. And that is for a good reason. HostGator has been in business for nearly 20 years and currently hosts over 10 million websites, which is actually five times more than Bluehost. Now, that is a lot of people who trust HostGator with their website, right? Even the basic shared hosting plan will offer you pretty high uptime and a decent level of performance, more than enough for a website that's just getting off the ground. So HostGator's shared hosting plan, this starter one, is equipped with unlimited bandwidth and storage, a free domain name for the first year of your service, automated backups, and a free SSL certificate. And all of this will only cost you $2.75 per month, which is definitely one of the cheaper web hosts uh, right now. So just like Bluehost, HostGator is another one I find myself coming back to frequently, and it's one I find myself recommending to 
all of my friends or family who ask me about web hosting. But that is usually if I'm building a more performance heavy website, that's just because I do trust HostGator a little bit more. That's simply because I have been using HostGator for many, many years. I've built so many websites using HostGator as my web host, and I've never really had any major problems. Now, just because a host is cheap, that doesn't mean it's low quality. In fact, both hosts mentioned in this video, both Bluehost and HostGator are very, very high quality hosts that will support your website and give you absolutely everything that you need. There honestly is no best web hosting, but merely the best web host for your needs. This means they offer you high levels of performance, security, and features on a budget that suits your needs. But honestly, if you are trying to find cheap web hosting, I'm assuming you are probably more of a beginner. So I would say that you could go with either Bluehost or HostGator and be absolutely fine. You definitely can't go wrong with either one. Now, if you are looking for more in-depth videos on each of these web hosts and other web hosts, I will put some links to some other videos in the description down below, just so you can go check those ones out if you want to learn a little bit more. So thanks for watching this best cheap web hosting video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments down below what your favorite web host is right now. I'd be really interested to know. And maybe I'll even come across some new ones that I could try and make some videos on. And if you are interested in either web host, Bluehost or HostGator, please check the description down below for the links. Those links are exclusive affiliate links for my viewers only that will earn me a small commission at no extra cost to you if you decide to purchase some web hosting using one of those links. So if you would like to say thank you to me for making this video and support my channel, I would appreciate it so much if you could please use those links. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.